All right, what's up, everybody? Today is the day, the first day of league. League is going to be 34 weeks long, the league we're doing. So that is 34 weeks of solid content. Uh, besides that, though, I'm fucking super excited. This feels like high school competition all over again. I'm ready to compete. I feel great. Hip is 50 50. I know you guys don't know this. On Monday, I threw seven games, got a little bit of hip pain, went to the chiropractor. We stupidly bowled yesterday, but today we feel okay. I've been icing it. Uh, and I'm just ready to fucking get out there. My boy Tyler here, he's ready to get after it, and we're ready to just honestly fucking smoke some 80 year olds. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this is like a, a handicap mixed league. Uh, first league I've ever done for bowling, so didn't want to jump into some crazy ass fucking league. But I am super excited. This is the first of many leagues, the first of many tournaments that I plan to do. Uh, I did clear up a lot of space on the iPhone because I do not have a real recording camera yet. This is everything was off my iPhone. And I'm gonna try and get as many shots as I possibly can. We're gonna have some mid uh, game uh, vlogging a little bit here. I'm gonna try and step out of my comfort zone and vlog in public, pretty crazy shit. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy what comes next and hopefully we smoke some fucking people and uh, we win this first day. Always want to go start off it with a dub. See you guys there. What's going on guys? So we're going to do something a little bit differently today. Unfortunately, my iPhone ran out of space once again, literally right after the first game. So we're going to do some talking while the clips pretty much go through. You're going to see my intro, which is all hunky-dory and stuff. But unfortunately, I didn't get to do any in-between-the-game stuff. So let's just go over it. So we started the league. This is week one of 34. Uh, the other team did not show, so an automatic forfeit win, which is pretty cool, I guess. Kind of boring, but also really good for me, because as you're going to see from the clips, I just really struggled. Um, and we'll get into those topics a little later. We did only have three people, which was me, Mike, and Tyler, who obviously you guys know who Tyler is, my roommate. And... So we got subs from uh, just the league, people that didn't have teams that just decided they were just going to be on any team that picked them up. Melissa, who you're going to see in a few clips, is the female that is on our team. Unfortunately, the other guy didn't show, but Melissa was very cool. She was very fun and was just kind of joking around with everyone, just immediately fit in. So she's going to be super cool to play with. A very uh, not so upset about the play style and more just having fun so that's going to be super cool going into some of the problems i dealt with uh unfortunately monday i bowled eight games and i really messed up my hip uh i'm pretty sure it was the muscle that runs through the hip and uh down the thigh and i just was not feeling good i tried to go to the chiropractor iced it but nothing was really helping so that was super unfortunate and you can see, like, in some of the spare shots that I think I have on here, like, everything's just really awkward for me. Trying to get low and doing that uh, non-backswing style approach was really getting to me, and I felt it all the time. On top of that, my middle finger on my throwing hand is swollen from trying to practice a couple of backup balls. And one of them, my finger was just a bit too deep, and it, it literally just yanked on it. It felt so bad. Um, so on top of that, uh, we also had that issue and because it's swollen, it's rubbing against the rubber inserts and it's ripping. So I had to put a bandaid on it. So then I couldn't get my finger as far into the ball as I would have liked to, to properly rotate the ball the way that I do. Um, and I mean, you can just see it. I mean, you can see it a lot. It just does not look like I get this ball as far over as I want to. It doesn't look like it's really rotating. Um, it looks sluggish and I look sluggish walking up. So a lot of frustration there. Um, Tyler and Mike though, uh, bowled absolutely phenomenal. Um, Mike had a 200 average or a 202 average and Tyler averaged 204. So both of them showed up really big in week one, and hopefully I can look to catch up to them in the following weeks. Uh, but I was struggling pretty bad. 
uh, when it just comes to overall pain um, when throwing the ball, and I just was not happy about it. Uh, my goal for the league, I want to average 200. Uh, that might seem very, I guess, low, but to me it felt like a good starting point. I don't feel like I'm really that far in bowling. I only started bowling two-handed about a month and a half ago. So I feel like having a 200 for the league average is a pretty mild goal for someone that just kind of really got back, uh, into bowling from being more casual. Uh, so that's my average week one, though, and I'm going to give this an update every week. Week one was 146. I was the worst bowler, I think, out there. Uh, no, you know, trash talk to Melissa, but obviously a very chill, straight-handed thrower. Uh, and I just struggled. Uh, Melissa played great. That's no hate towards her. Um, she's definitely, in my opinion, it looks like she's playing for fun. Uh, got herself her own bowling ball and is having a great time, and I love it. She was she she really was a fun person to be around. Uh, very positive. Was immediately shit talking with uh, Mike, me, and Tyler. Uh, it was an absolute joy to be around. But I know 146 was extremely low even for me, and uh, I'm hoping to. I would love to hit my goal of 200, uh, but I I think we're gonna be a solid 180 average for week two. Uh, I went through today as I'm recording this. This is on a Monday. Went through today and threw some really good games. Really changed up the form. Hopefully you guys are going to see that pretty soon in the next upcoming videos. And I am really excited to show that off. Um, but that's really all I got. Uh, it was just uh, overall, it was, a, it, was, it was a struggle of a day. Um, and I'm just really hoping that in the upcoming weeks we're going to be able to bounce back. Tyler, I think his highest game was a 238, and I think Michael had a couple 200 games as well. So obviously, props to them. That's really good. 238 is by no means a bad game in the first place. So we're gonna, like I said, we're probably gonna be looking to carry on them pretty heavily. Uh, Tyler's been throwing his way for a lot longer, and Michael's been bowling, you know, since he was a kid. I know he still looks like he's 12, but he is indeed uh, 23, I believe. So. Yeah, that's all I got, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the clips. I hope you guys have enjoyed a little bit of something different. Um, instead of just music kind of playing in the background, I hope that this can be a bit more informative and it gives me that opportunity to talk about the stuff I want to talk about without actually wasting time and not getting to the clips themselves. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the clips. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video, which... Uh, should be pretty awesome. Tyler's brother Brandon actually brought a straight up rig out. Um, so that's going to be extremely cool. He said he got some really good shots on a really nice uh, camera. And so that is going to be absolutely awesome to see that footage back and to be able to see some of that, uh, some of those shots look a bit clearer than they do maybe on like just my iPhone. Uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this. Is